Hello friends, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video, we will talk about not a mock exception. Yeah. So Mokito not a mock exception. Uh, this exception is one of the common exception uh, we will likely uh, likely encounter when uh, misusing mocks or a spy. Yeah. When we are using Mokito framework, right? So here you can see I have one test case. It's called uh, spy test and there I have created an object of uh, array list right and here I am doing kind of uh, stubbing this is what is nothing but the stubbing a uh, spy so just I am trying to do uh, just I am trying to stubbing a uh, spy and when I run this test case then I am getting this ex uh, exception is called not a mock exception arg dot mockito dot exceptions dot misusing dot not a mock exception right and if you look into the explanation right error argument passed to when is not a mock so here i have used a when method and i'm passing this argument complaining that this is not a mock object right so how to fix this one so guys uh, error clearly indicating that here i either i have to pass the spy object or mock object and just I am passing one simple object and that's the reason for uh, exception. So what we can do, we can use a spy uh, method here to create a spy object. So I would say mokito uh, dot spy directly you can call this method. And here directly you can pass this guy, this object directly you can pass it over here. And let's say now we can assign to this. Yeah, we can remove this one safely, right? Now, after doing this, uh, uh, statement should end with the semicolon. So, after doing this, if I run, then this should run perfectly fine. Here, you can see now test case has been passed. So, here, what I have done, I have created a one uh, spy object using a spy method, and after that, I am doing. You can even uh, you can spy uh, 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 basically. You can sorry you can stop by a spy object as well so let's rename this one i would say a spy a spy list right so even you can create a stop of a spy object as well as you know a spy object always calls the real uh, object method right so already we have discussed in the previous video tutorial right so here is spy we have used by calling this spy method this import you can have a static import as well so here what you can do you can do static and uh, this method belongs to the mockito so now you can do the static import as well right and of course you can do this one as well as static right so here you can do uh, 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 let's uh, do one more static import for for do return yeah and here we have done the static import so programmatically here we have created uh, basically a spy object but same a spy object you can create using annotation as well right so i'm going to copy this test case in the same package with underscore two and here uh, we can move this thing uh, something like this just you can create a private and you can create an spy object at the ins instance level so that this spy object can be used in the various test method as of now i have only one test method let's say you have a various method then this spy object can be used but this spy object we create with inside the method that can be used by the only one test method now what you have to do uh, you don't really uh, 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 uh yeah so here what you have to annotate as a spy annotation right so i have now after doing so let's run it and here you can see still it is passed right but here uh, this is not actually we are using uh a spy but what you have to do basically uh, when you spy then you shouldn't call this method at all right what you have to do simply you have to do this right and that has to create a spy object but it will throw null pointer exception why so uh, because uh, if we haven't enabled 
uh, basically this annotation in Moki too. So there are a couple of ways we can uh, enable at spy or at mock, at uh, inject mocks, uh, these annotations basically. So uh, I have already shown in the previous video tutorial, but one of the way here I am going to talk, but if you want to see both the ways how we can enable uh, annotation in Moki too, that that I have already explained in the previous video tutorial. But one of the way if you are using, uh, if you are using, uh, if you are using uh, JUnit uh, 5, then we can enable uh, Moki 2 extension you can provide. And here, yeah. apart from that, there is also another way to basically enable uh, Moki 2 on registration that already I have shown in the previous video tutorial. And once I do, uh, here you don't need to initialize if you do <coughs> uh, annotation, right? So that will be done by the Mokito itself. And here you can see test case has been passed. So both the approaches you can uh, uh, you can you can use uh, or any of one whichever you like most. Most of the people like uh, using annotation. That's the more convenient way to spy any real object, right? So guys, uh, that's all I wanted to uh, show you in this video tutorial. So if you get a uh, mock not a mock exception anytime then uh, you you should always think about that uh, you are using some object uh, a spy object or mock object and that is not really mocked or spied and that's the reason for exception so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial